Hey guys, welcome back to my second video on the Hypershell Pro X2. I just uploaded a more in-depth review about two weeks ago. Got like 10,000 views already. If you want to check that video out, hit the link below. I wanted to make this second video because there was one big thing that I forgot to, to talk about in my first video, and that is the app. The wireless app that you has you know lots of different functions and and a, you know options that I totally forgot about saying in my first video. So I wanted to make this video to uh, talk about what you can do in the app. All right, so I'm screen recording my phone so you see in real time what I'm seeing. I'm going to stand to the left here. As you can see, you have the Hypershell app. You can download at the Play Store, the Google you know uh, iPhone Store, whatever it's called, App Store. Excuse me. We're going to launch the app. It's gonna search for the device, usually takes about three seconds. There you go, Hypershell connected. Now within the app, there's a lot more options and adjustability than just the one manual physical button on the device. Again, this button, you can turn it on or off, switch modes, uh, and adjust power You know, assist levels by 25% increments. But within this, you can do a whole lot more. First off, you can see the battery life remaining in actual percentages, down to the actual percent. Shows you the estimated miles remaining on this charge. Shows you the current speed. As you can see, if I'm walking, it shows what my speed is in real time, which is kind of a neat feature. Uh, if there's a firmware update, it'll show that here. I haven't downloaded the firmware update. Uh, and then you have the different modes. I'm on hyper mode, or excuse me, eco mode. You can switch to hyper, transparent. Now, eco is like where you're going to get the best, you know, battery life, I believe. Um, and again, you can switch the power output by 25% increments on the button. But with this, it's a sliding scale where you can adjust in 5% increments. So that's even further a nice perk. Now, if you go into hyper mode, I was unaware of this, hyper mode... Um, when you turn it on manually with the button, it only remains on for about 10 seconds or whatever you need it to run up the hill. But when I experimented by having on hyper mode on the actual app, it stays on indefinitely where it really gives you maximum assistance. Again, you can adjust hyper mode up or down by 5%. Transparent mode just means it's off. I don't know why it's called transparent, but that just means that it's turned off. It's kind of fun, like I said in my other video, to have it on like full hyper mode for my friends to try it out for the first time for five minutes and then turn it off and just see their reaction of, you know, whoa, how much more effort it takes to walk. Now, one cool feature that I wish I would have mentioned this again in my first video, there's something called fitness mode. If we turn that on, it does say this is an experimental feature. They might, you know, advance it as time goes on or they might even discontinue it. I hope they don't discontinue it because it's really cool. I've gotten a lot of um, comments on my first video saying, you know, this is going to make you fat and you're not going to burn as many calories. And yeah, that's kind of true, just like an electric bike. But with fitness mode, instead of it giving you assistance, it's giving you resistance. So now instead of it lifting my leg, every time I lift my leg, it's pushing on my leg. It's actually quite strong. Again, this is adjustable too, but it actually <laughs> slows you down quite a bit. So if you're looking to burn more calories with this thing and have it be like an exercise piece of exercise equipment, that is an option. Another cool feature that I have verified uh, with this with Hypershell is when you are on fitness mode, it's actually recharging the battery slightly as you're walking. I don't know how much more, you know, if you walk five miles, how much more, you know, battery you're gonna get, but it is recharging the battery when you're in fitness or resistant mode if we i'm going to switch back to eco here now down here you have a motion engine which is below the power thing if we go into that you can adjust the responsiveness of you know how quick it reacts um, there's an overheat protection which is already enabled there's a hill descent control which you know again just it doesn't give you as much assistance when you're going down and all that so i just leave that on now this is cool, torque distribution. Let's say you want one leg to have more assistance than the other. You can do that by sliding the scale. And now my right has more assistance than my left. So if you have a bad knee and you don't want both of them to have full assistance, that, I'm gonna switch it back to one here. There's zero, excuse me. All right, two, we'll just leave it at two. Next up is the status LED brightness. 
You can adjust the brightness of the LEDs on the actual device. Haptic feedback, I don't know, for some reason those aren't allowing me to mess with them. Then we have adaptive motion recognition. I just leave this on where it'll adapt, it'll sense what activity you're doing out of all these and adapt core, you know, appropriately. We can turn this off and then select each one. If we're, you know, know we're gonna be mountaineering or cycling for a while, you can choose that. But I just choose to leave this on. Next up, it shows your total steps. This is with the date and everything. This is probably when I made my last device was with this. Shows your elevation gain. Again, shows your range, blah, blah. And then it shows in real time, um, you know, how much I've been using this. So. That's about it that I can figure out on the app. Again, I felt bad not including this in my first video. Totally, totally spaced it. But I'm really excited about that fitness feature because now every time someone comments saying, eh, this is going to, you know, make you fat and you're not going to burn calories, now I can be like, well, you can use fitness mode and have resistance. So you can have assistance or resistance. Anyways, hope you found this quick update video on the Hypershell Pro X informative. If you'd like to check out my first video, I'll put a link below. See you in the next video.